Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from vitalcoaching.com. We are talking about vital sex and tantric sex. The topic for this video is Goddessa Erotica. The idea of divinizing your sexual energy, bringing back a sense of sacredness, is one of the core aspects that are used within the tantric sex context. You know, we live in a world that has become extremely material, where you are trapped in dealing with uh, practical things all the time. You have to make money, you have to find a house, you need to take care of your car, of technology. And all these things are creating a certain vibration or a certain mindset, set of actions, things that we think about uh, all the time and that are the core aspects in our lives. Now, when it comes to, uh, for instance, sexual energy and engaging, of course, we have um, you know, sexual vibration inside of us and very often uh, these represent an essential aspect of our lives as well. But we don't really take time to build up mindsets that are necessarily empowering for that energy. One of the core aspects that we don't really check very often is how much sexual conditioning we have inside of us. Like, for instance, things that have to do with negative conditioning, shame and guilt, experiences that have been traumatic in the past, how we have in, been engaging with sex, and without the awareness necessarily of, um, of uh, what, is, what are the mind frames, what are the beliefs that we have inside of us concerning sex. So the idea of bringing back what we call you know, the erotic vibration. You know, in ancient, in ancient Greece, you had the god Eros, which was, who was the god of love and pleasure and sex. And uh, right now I'm using the term, the term erotica as a goddess energy because that's something that I can really well relate to. So when I'm invoking erotica, I'm invoking an energy which brings sexual energy into my relationships, into my connections, and uh, activates that vibration inside of me as well. If I focus on the idea of erotica and invoking that energy, it's like calling a certain energy reality, a certain set of beliefs, behaviors that are going to activate my sexual energy and put me in a position of glorifying, activating and uh, bringing back a sense of divinity and sacredness to that sexual energy which is alive inside of me. So when uh, you are engaging into tantric sex with a lover, with a partner, you can consciously invoke that energy in, in, in that reality. And if the word, you know, erotic, for instance, challenges you, and think about that again. Uh, why is it that the word erotic might feel a little bit disturbing or a little bit uncomfortable to you? Maybe it's because of associations in the past with certain experiences that you had that were not necessarily pleasant and therefore they are trapped in your system, associations, mental associations, energetic associations, emotional associations with the word sex or with the word eros or erotic. And very often for, for people, the word erotic is associated with being slutty or vulgar, which is totally two different realities. You know, the, the erotic energy that is inside of you can be refined, can be subtle, can be nurturing, it can be healing, it can be caring, loving. You know, there are lots of ways of expressing the erotic energy inside of you. Some of this erotic energy might have some shadows in it, you know, lots of mystery and maybe some dominance or uh, tendencies. So you can have within the play of, of Eros lots of energies, lots of different aspects and lots of different expressions. But the core idea is that the moment you start invoking this divine force or this divine presence inside of you, then you are actually um, uh, tapping into uh, an, inf an infinite source of juice and energy which is already alive inside of you. So that's the code word, code word for you to, to use if you like, Godessa Erotica. And um, you can start using it in the form of invocation, you know, physically sounding it. Goddessa erotica, goddessa erotica. But there are so many different terms or different possibilities with the mantras. Um, but the thing is that the moment you start using it, you are going to invoke and call consciously that energy in your system. And this is going to change, shift uh, your vibration and uh, activate that specific energy inside of you. You can also meditate into only on that term, you can um, sound it uh, together with, uh, with your lover before starting engaging into a tantric sex practice. You know, there are lots of ways to, um, to uh, invoke that energy. The good news is that 
this energy is intelligent you know the field of sexual energy around the planet it's it's an intelligent field of energy that you can consciously invoke and, and tap into and this is something to remember so to summarize this video goddessa erotica bring back the secretness of your sexual energy help uh, invoking that energy helps you remove the blockages that you might have around your sexual energy uh, the traumas the negative emotions the negative emotional associations with sex it will clear and bring back a sense of divinity and sacredness into your sexual or erotic life